Welcome to Clarity of Concept UPSC. This is our Economic Survey and Budget Series. In this video, let us study key RBI policy rates as of April 2025. Once in every two months, RBI's Monetary Policy Committee MPC, releases policy rates. Recently, it was released on April 9, 2025. Before that, it was released two months ago, that is in February 2025. In this video, we shall study all recent policy rates such as Repo Rate, Reverse Repo, Marginal Standing Facility, CRR, SLR and all other key policy rates. Along with these, we will study two important concepts, Standing Deposit Facility SDF and Interest Rate Corridor. We shall also study what Economic Survey 2025 tells about all these policy rates. For basics, you can watch our previous two videos on fundamentals. Anyway, we have explained basics in short in these videos also. Let us now start with all present policy rates as of April 2025. First is Repo Rate. It is currently 6%. Earlier, it was 6.25%. In April 2025, it decreased from 6.25%. Repo rate is the interest rate at which RBI lends money to banks. If RBI reduces this rate, banks can borrow money cheaply. Then they can lend more loans to people. This increases spending and helps the economy grow. But this can also increase the inflation. Next is reverse repo rate. It is 3.35% at present. It has been the same since May 2020. No changes since then. Reverse repo rate is kind of interest banks earn when they park their excess money with RBI. If they deposit the extra money they have with RBI, they earn this 3.35% interest. If this reverse repo rate is reduced, banks don't like to park their excess money with RBI. Instead, they want to give it to people as loans. This increases money supply and inflation. This will also boost growth. Okay. That is all good theory. Let me explain you something more practical and useful. Imagine there are three banks. State Bank of India, SBI, Kenra Bank and Bank of Baroda. Now, Kenra Bank wants money urgently. It says it will give 2% interest if anybody gives it. Now, Bank of Baroda and State Bank say, Hey, why should we give you money for just 2% interest? If we keep that money in RBI under reverse repo, we will get 3.35%. Why should we give you money for less interest rate and that too there is risk? Cannot be very sure about you. And if we give money to RBI, it has no risk at all. So one thing we understand from this is, when banks want to give money to each other as short term loans for urgency, they will give only if they get more than 3.35% interest. That is, more than reverse repo rate. So, this rate acts as kind of lower floor rate of interest in the market for borrowing money. I hope you have understood. Okay, but let me tell you a little more. Till 2022, this reverse repo rate used to work as the lower floor rate for all interbank money market. In 2022, RBI introduced something called SDF, Standing Deposit Facility. This is also very similar to reverse repo. But we will explain this later in this video after discussing marginal standing facility MSF. Next is bank rate. Right now it is 6.25%. It reduced from 6.5% in April 2025. Bank rate is the interest RBI charges when it gives long term loans to banks. Banks borrow cheaper long term loans if this rate is reduced so they can lend cheaper loans to people. This is not much used by banks and RBI generally. Next is Cash Reserve Ratio or CRR. It is currently 4%. It decreased from 4.25% in December 2024. CRR is the percentage of cash banks must deposit with RBI. If RBI reduces this CRR, banks have more money to lend. This helps increase loans and economic activity. But this can also increase inflation. 
the survey 2025 says that the december 2024 cut in crr infused about 1.16 lakh crore rupees liquidity into the system this helped banks have more lendable resources next statutory liquidity ratio or slr it is 18% at present it has not changed since april 2020 SLR means the percentage of deposits banks must keep as liquid assets like cash or gold. If this ratio is lowered, banks can lend more money. More lending boosts economic growth but also increases inflation. Next is open market operations or OMO. It is the process through which RBI controls liquidity in the banking system. When RBI wants to increase liquidity, it buys government securities from banks and gives cash in return for banks when it wants to decrease liquidity it sells these government securities and sucks out money in january and february 2025 rbi bought government securities worth 60000 crores from banks in march 2025 rbi bought more securities and injected 1 lakh crore rupees In April 2025 RBI again bought securities and gave 80000 crore rupees to banks by buying securities RBI gave cash to banks and increased liquidity this will help banks lend more it will boost growth but can also increase inflation next is marginal standing facility or MSF it is a window through which banks can borrow money from RBI overnight in emergency they have to give government securities as guarantee this facility is used when banks have shortage of money at the end of the day the msf rate is 6.25% now it was reduced from 6.5% in april 2025 if msf rate is reduced banks can borrow emergency money at cheaper rate this increases liquidity it can boost growth but can also add to inflation okay now let us understand this more crudely see msf is the interest rate at which banks can get emergency money urgently let us see our earlier example there are three banks state bank canara bank and bank of baroda canara bank needs money urgently it asks state bank and bank of baroda if they can lend money for interest state bank says i can give but only if you give me 8% interest and bank of baroda says i will give only if i get 9% interest canara bank says are you guys mad why should i take money from you at such high interest rates rbi will only give me at 6.25% in this emergency i will take money from rbi instead of you guys So you can see this MSF rate of 6.25% acts as upper ceiling in interbank money market for short term lending. Earlier we saw reverse repo rate acts as lower floor rate and this MSF rate acts as upper ceiling rate. So all interbank money transactions usually has to occur within this limit right? In the same situation if Canara Bank wants money and if sbi is ready to give it at 5% interest canara bank may take it because it is less than emergency msf borrowing rate from rbi and sbi wants to give it because 5% is better than 3.35% it can earn from keeping that money with rbi under reverse repo so this upper and lower limits create kind of a interest rate corridor between this all interbank lending takes place right Well now you have understood the concept let us see the change that was made in 2022 RBI created new tool called standing deposit facility SDF this is very similar to reverse repo rate in reverse repo when banks had excess money they used to give it to RBI to earn interest RBI used to take money and give government securities as collateral to banks RBI was not doing this for charity RBI wanted to suck out the excess money in banks so that it does not reach public and cause inflation 
If RBI wanted to suck out more money, it used to raise reverse repo rate. Banks find this attractive and used to park more money with RBI only instead of giving it to public as loans. But there was a limitation. RBI could do this only as long as it has government securities to give in return as collateral. This was creating problems for RBI to suck out a lot of money during tough situations. So RBI created a new tool. It said, OK, I will take money from banks and give more interest. But I will not be giving government bonds as collateral. To make this more attractive, it kept the rate much higher than reverse repo so that banks find this option very attractive. So, standing deposit facility right now is 5.75%. This is much higher than reverse repo rate of 3.35%. To understand it more deeply, repo rate is 6%. Standing deposit facility, SDF, is always kept 0.25% less than repo rate that is 5.75% and marginal standing facility which is used by banks for emergency borrowing is kept 0.25% more than repo rate that is 6.25%. So let us see this. When banks want to give money to each other, nobody wants to give at a rate lesser than SDF rate that is at 5.75%. Because RBI only offers that much, that is flow rate. And no bank wants to borrow money at a rate higher than MSF emergency rate, that is 6.25%. Because RBI will only give at that rate in emergency. Why take it from others at a higher interest rate? Well, this lower and upper limits called floor and ceiling rates create a corridor called interest rate corridor. Let us see what Economic Survey 2025 says about this SDF and interest rate corridor. The survey explains that SDF is the floor of the liquidity adjustment facility corridor. It replaced reverse repo rate as the main floor rate. SDF helps the RBI to absorb surplus liquidity from banks without giving them any collateral. That is, RBI does not need to give bonds or securities in return. The survey mentions that the monetary policy framework operates within an interest rate corridor. SDF is the floor rate, repo rate is the middle and marginal standing facility MSF is the ceiling. This corridor helps to keep the money market rate stable, typically between the floor SDF and the ceiling MSF. There is one more important topic related to this. It is called variable repo rate. But we will take it up in the next video. Follow our playlist and subscribe to our channel Clarity of Concept UPSC.